Hey guys, Chad from Memphis Reptiles. Thought we'd do a video and show you guys a few snakes today. I'm going to ramble on about some breedings and pairings that we've been doing this year, a few clutches that we're expecting, and uh, basically just show you guys some snakes that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, this is a female that we produce. She's a Lease in Line Black Pastel Yellow Belly Fire Spider. And uh, I know some people don't care for the spider gene because of the head wobble, but I love spiders and I still have quite a few spiders in my collection and uh, spider combo morphs. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool girl. She's not being paired this year. She's not big enough. I like my females larger than this. But uh, I'm hoping by the end of this uh, breeding season here, the beginning of the next season, that she'll be ready to go. We usually start pairing up a lot of our snakes towards October and um, early November. Here we're in Memphis and I have a lot of luck with that. And uh, I have a little system that I use with cooling my entire room and uh, I dropped the temps on my thermostats a little bit, but nothing like drastic. I don't really chill my snakes. Like I see some people like, oh, I unplug the heat and this and that. I don't do that. But to each their own, if it works for you, it, it works. Keep doing what you're doing. But uh, yeah, this is a cool girl. i um, not really sure where we're going to go with her, but uh, I'm really focusing right now a lot on the clown, pod, and uh, desert ghost project. Okay, stop. I may put this girl with uh, the clown project to work in the Lisa Line Black Pastel and the Fire Gene with my clown stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, she's an awesome female. You could also go the pied route. Um, we're really trying to focus on making panda pieds. It's one of the main reasons when I started breeding ball pythons, we wanted to get in black pastel pieds. And we produced our own black pastel pieds with heads. I uh, produced my own hits back in the day, so you know. So it's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and we kind of took a little break from breeding, but I never got out of ball pythons or anything. But this season, I'm kind of diving back in. I think we've paired about 20 females so far, and I'm having some really good signs of uh, having a great season. But this girl, she's not going this year, but uh, hopefully, towards the end of the year, she will and give us a nice clutch for 2021. And she's kind of spicy, too. That's my that's my big hand, sorry. But I'm gonna yank her out and I'm gonna show you guys another snake. I wanna show you guys my female Russo Spectre. I produced her a while back and uh, she's gonna give us a clutch this season. And I'm really excited about this one because there's not a lot of people working with the Russo Spectre. I've never even seen another one available. Uh, this girl's in glow right now, so she's looking fantastic. And I just wanted to show her, see if we can get her head to pop out. I put this girl with my fire yellow belly inchy male and uh, it may be a little bit of a identification nightmare as far as uh, picking out the Russo fire inchy combos but realistically if I make something awesome it's going to stay here. I'm hoping for of course inchy super stripe. Uh, Russo inchy super stripe would be amazing. I mean I love to see it. Fire inchy Russo super stripe. I mean, really? Yeah. So, we're going to try that. Uh, she's getting ready to Avi. Um, and then she'll have a pre-lay shed. So, this girl's going to give us, it'll be her first clutch. Love this girl. If you guys uh, go back on my YouTube and you look back through some of my past videos, the pairing that produced this girl was a Super Stripe male paired to a Super Russo female. And I kept her and her sister. I actually have paired her sister to the Russo yellow belly male that I held back. And we're gonna try to see if we can hit some super stripes, some super Russos, and who knows, if we really get lucky, maybe we'll hit a double super. I don't know if we'll be able to tell if it'll just be a solid white snake or maybe something kind of crazy looking. But uh, it's, it's, it's fun, it's definitely just a fun project I'm pursuing. But yeah, she's a sweetheart. And I'm really glad that she's gonna give us a clutch this season. Uh, let me see, let me grab something else fun to look at. I took a picture and put this girl up on our Facebook page not that long ago. So if you go on our Facebook, you can check her out, but video would probably be a lot better. This, uh, we produced her, she was paired, produced from a uh, Black Pastel Mojave 100% Het Hypo to a female RDR that's Ralph Davis Reptiles, Phantom Goblin, that we got in a breeder loan from my buddy Carl, 
and he's got her back at his place now, and I think he's putting Clown into that. Uh, Phantom Clown is awesome. Yellow Belly Clown's awesome. So come on, Phantom Goblin Clown. Yeah, you can see that. Well, he'll be making hits, not visual clowns, but he's working on hits this season. She's acting kind of shy. I really want you guys to see the darkness of her head. So this girl is definitely Black Pastel. I think she's Yellow Belly too. Uh, she was really colored up as a hatchling. She's got some reducing going on in the back. So she's Black Pastel, Phantom, Mojave, Yellow Belly, 50% Het Ghost. I'm saying Yellow Belly. She may not be, but I, I believe. <laughs> I believe she is. Um, love this girl. We don't know really what we're going to put with her, but she's definitely going into a recessive project. More than likely, I'm going to throw her with Desert Ghost. Uh, I really want to work on Phantom Desert Ghost stuff. I like Phantoms. I like Desert Ghost. I like Yellow Belly Desert Ghost. I haven't really seen any Desert Ghost morphs that I do not like. Uh, the Orange Dream Desert Ghost is amazing. My buddy Tim has one. He sent me a picture of it, and it freaking just glows. It glows in the dark. She's a little snappy, but she's uh, other than that, she's a sweetheart. She likes rats. Yeah. That's good. She's about 1,400 grams. Brittany's saying get her. Like She's going to jump out of the tub and bite her, but I promise you, she's not going to jump out of the tub and bite you. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, just a really cool snake. And the black pastel, you can see what it did to the head. It's extremely dark. It's almost darker than in the video. And the coloration, I don't know. The color is pretty close in the video, but it's not really there. Maybe it'll come out a little bit different when we upload it. We'll see. But, yeah, love this girl. Uh, sh she'll be a 2021 clutch, I'm hoping for. Let's see what else we want to look at. Mm. Show this guy off. We set up a Morph Market page, and uh, I actually have been doing really well on Morph Market. Uh, dang, he's in shed. Here, let me grab another one. You know, I've been doing really well on Morph Market. There's a male that I have to add to my collection, and uh, I've been moving out a few of my other males and a few females that I held back to breed. And uh, this guy's actually on Morph Market. He is a phantom black pastel spider pinstripe coral glow so he's a five banger he's uh over a thousand grams he's ready to pair i haven't put him with anything he's just hanging out in my rack uh i'm not sure i mean if he doesn't sell on morph market then i definitely will be pairing this guy next season but if he does then that'll just put me closer to my goal and being able to get what i need for my project that i want to work and uh he's an awesome snake i haven't seen another one he was produced from Super Phantom Coral Glow to Black Pastel Spider Pinstripe or the Black Spin. Uh, you guys can check those out on World of Ball Pythons if you want to. It's on there. Um, yeah, and he's a cool dude. But if anybody needs a powerful male to start pairing up, here you go. I've done all the work for you. I grew this guy up, and uh, I just thought he was an awesome snake. And like I said, if he doesn't sell, I'm not going to be mad. If he does sell, that's cool too. speckle on him other than this small little paradox spot right here it's pretty cool yeah there's that guy um i'm gonna snatch out one of these black pastels that we produced in december it's not in shed nope it's not in shed they've been eating pretty good they're eating on a little bitty live uh well not a little bitty but they're eating on hopper to small size mice I get from my buddy Carl at Rodent Shack. And we ended up producing 3.3. That's this one here is a female with a really nice stripe. And there's a little male. Ooh, is he? But uh love black pastel stuff. These were produced from a black pastel pie to a black pastel ghost female. I was going for a super with some awesome white ringers. We didn't get a super, but we did get six black pastels and they're all double hit. So I can't really complain about that. And Black pastels are spicy. There's some spicy little snakes. I don't know if you guys see that, but if I put my hand in there, that dude will tag me. But I've been handling them, so, you know, maybe they'll calm down a little bit. They love to eat. They have a great feeding response. So. I really like this one. This is the girl. I was 
I'm going to hold one back. I would hold this one back because I love the stripe. But right now I'm not going to hold it back because I'm planning on repeating that pairing and going for my super with a high white ringer, hopefully. Let's see. You don't like my arm. Chill there. You. Let's look at your belly. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got some really cool orange ringer stuff going on. 